the 2019 LSU Tigers and the 2001 Miami Hurricanes are considered two of the best college football teams of all time. LSU features players like Justin Jefferson, Joe Burrow, and Jamar Chase, while Miami features players like Andre Johnson, Ed Reed, and Jonathan Vilma. Both teams are going to be a 99 overall, and we're going to see who wins this head-to-head matchup. Honestly, this could be one of the best matchups that I would ever watch. This is two of the best teams that you'll ever see play college football, and if you're going to find a way to put these teams together. It's going to be an NCAA 23. LSU is going to run speed option to the right, and they're not going to pick up many yards. That is a huge start for the Miami Hurricanes. Run out to the left side here. Justin Jefferson picking up your yards. Picks up a big, big play for the Tigers here. Joe Burrow's dropping back to pass. Picks up the first down. Quick pass out to the left. Speed option once again to the right. That is not going to work. They're going to have to find something different. LSU is trying to pick up a big first down, broken up, third and 14, dropping back to pass once again, and Miami gets the stop. This is the part that I'm excited to watch. What can Miami's offense do? Maybe not as explosive. Running out to the left here, and a big play. Caleb Von Chase on with a huge tackle for loss. Running the football once again, and Clinton Portis and Willis McGahee are two of the best running backs that we've seen in this game for Miami. Andre Johnson getting involved as well. Ken Dorsey is probably the X factor in this game. Can he distribute the ball enough? And so far, he's doing a good job of getting the ball to his playmakers, getting Clinton Portis involved in the rushing attack here. Miami is actually moving the ball quite a bit. They're inside the red zone with that pick up there. Getting the ball in the red zone here. Ken Dorsey looking to the left. A dangerous throw. It's picked off. It's Jacoby Stevens once right in front of the football. Picks it off. He's going to run it all the way back. Nobody is going to catch him. LSU is going to shift the momentum in their favor. A big touchdown for the LSU Tigers to get on the board. The defense is what's going to score first for LSU. It is not the offense. Jacoby Stevens Walked right in front of that pass, a dangerous pass by Ken Dorsey, and he runs it all the way back for a huge touchdown to get the 2019 LSU Tigers on the board first. Miami is looking to respond. A pitch to the left, Willis McGahee is not going to pick up any yards there. Ken Dorsey is looking to get back on track, throw almost throws another pick. He is absolutely rattled right now, and Miami is going to have to punt. LSU looking to build off that momentum, picks up a good chunk of yards here to get things started. Joe Burrow looking. He's going to dump it down to his check down. It's up. Oh, good truck. Bunch of hard hits here. Joe Burrow looking to run, and he's down as well. Burrow dropping back the pass. Has the screen pass available. Going to pick up a good chunk of yards. Can he get the first down? He does all the way inside of the 40. Burrow is dropping back once again. This passing attack is giving Miami fits earlier on, and that's against a good secondary. Rushing attack, not as effective. Joe Burrow looking back to pass. Big stop for Miami. LSU picks up a field goal to go up 10 to nothing. Second quarter, Miami looking to get things back on track. Rushing attack, not as efficient this drive so far, and they are looking to still establish that. LSU does not have anything of it. Clint Portis gets stopped. Dorsey dropped back to pass on third and four. Picks up the first down. A good pass there. Getting back to the rushing attack. They are getting some movement up front. That is really good. But LSU once again responds. Not blocking is probably not the best approach for this Miami offense. Dorsey looking downfield. Doesn't have anybody. Throws across the field. What a play, actually. Ethnic stands with a big first down for this Miami offense. Lasting attack is surprisingly better than I expected. Dorsey is surprising me here and actually making some really nice throws here. Ethnic stands with another big pickup. Running read option, not going to pick anything up. A loss of three. The rushing attack really having its struggles, picking up yards. This is a big play on third and 14. To get a field goal, 10-3 to LSU in the second. Big drive here for LSU to respond. Over the middle, incomplete pass to start. Running the football all to the left. Oh. Third and 14, what does LSU have in store here? Throws out to the left. Miami rallies to the football. Miami is looking to respond. Once again, going with a rushing attack. They will not give that up. That is their identity. And they're having some success, but also struggling on plays like this. 
Dorsey is looking for a big third down conversion, and he is not going to do it. Burrow and company looking to add some points here, starting with a tunnel screen to the inside. Justin Jefferson picks up a couple yards there. Burrow looking over the middle to pick up the first down. Clyde edwards Hilaire is able to do that. edwards <laughs> Goodness, this is a vicious game of hits right now. Miami is absolutely winning the physicality. LSU has the ball here, throwing out to the right and picks up the first down. Burrow is looking once again, throws to the right again and almost picks up the first down. They're getting close to the red zone. Burrow is going to run. He's going to get inside the red zone, looking for a field goal that will get them up 13 to three. Second half, Miami is looking to get back on track. <laughs> Dorsey dropping back the pass. He's going to throw it to the right side. A dangerous throw, and it's intercepted again. Miami is not doing itself any favors by these turnovers. They're putting their defense in a tough position, but the defense is hoping to respond. So far, only 13 points for an offense that was one of the best, if not the best, in college football. Rallying to the football is Miami saving great. And oh, my gosh. They are just destroying ball carriers for LSU. The pass is incomplete. This is a huge response. First down for LSU. Getting into that red zone, though, this could be maybe a tough deficit for this Miami offense to come back from. Joe Burrow running once again. Almost picks up the first down. Denied third and one. And LSU will pick up the first down there. Burrow running once again inside the red zone. This could be a huge make-or-break drive for this game. Burrow is looking over the middle, gets his guy. Oh, and he dropped it. That was a huge drop. Burrow looking once again, finds, feels pressure, throwing across his body. Fourth and six, Miami will get a stop, 16-3 to three LSU. This is a big drive for Ken Dorsey. They have to get points on the board here, and LSU is just not letting that happen. Dorsey dropping back to pass. Gets sacked. Not a good start. I mean, what do you even have dialed up on third and 19 if you're Miami? It's not an offense that can score points in an explosive way for the most part. Dorsey finds McGahee. He makes a cut. He's in the open field. That will do it. That's going to be one way to do it. You can get your running back open in space. He's going all the way for the touchdown, 16 to 10. Miami is cutting into that deficit. What a huge play by Willis McGahee to keep this team in the game. I just need your defense to make it another stop. Keep this team in the game. Burrow is going to pick up a first down. That is not a good way to start, and he's breaking tackles left and right. That is not a good start for this Miami defense. Speed option, they come back to it once again, pick up another good chunk of yards. This is a huge drive for both LSU and Miami, and Miami is going to get a stop here. Still need to get more points on the board. Darcy's not going to get it done, though, as he gets sacked yet again. That is really killing them right now, is losing quite a bit of yardage. Third and 12, throws over the middle, and picks up a first down. And getting some chunk plays here that are going to help them. Throwing over to the left side, and that is incomplete. Dorsey looking to back to pass once again, second and 10. Throws it incomplete. Uh, his passing attack, not exactly lethal, and LSU is making them pay. This is a really physical game. I'm surprised at how physical it is, but with these two teams, maybe I probably shouldn't be. Burrow looking to pick up yards here to end the third quarter, third and six as the clock expires and nearly gets sacked. Completes the pass, though. Miami's still looking to get some yards. Dorsey, not sure what that was. Running the ball is still a priority. It's a one-score game, so you can still run the ball, but it's not working. LSU is not allowing that to happen. They will once again force a punt. LSU doesn't really need to do much. They can still just do what they normally do and pick up extra yards, get the ball down the field. Another score would essentially seal this game and they will punt. That's okay though, because besides a couple plays, we haven't seen much of Miami being able to move the ball down the field. LSU defense continues rallying to the football and drops will not help. Running the ball still an option for this Miami offense. But it's not going to do much if you can't pick up first downs. LSU is probably just going to look to run out the clock here. Less than three minutes. Miami is going to do what it can to keep them in the game. As you can see, they're running down the clock. Miami is going to take a timeout to hopefully get the ball back to their offense. Give them a chance to either tie the game, go up, and LSU hopes to run down the clock here. Burrow is dropping back to pass. 
Looking over to the left side, a dangerous throw, and that's intercepted. Miami gets the ball back. That is a huge play. And, oh, my gosh, Mike Rumpf with a huge play for this Miami defense. They get the ball back inside of LSU territory. Can they capitalize on that? They're going to start by, once again, running the football. A big chunk play for Clinton Portis to get things started. Dorsey drops back the pass. He will throw that away. And third down and two, play action. Dorsey looks over the middle, and he's got a guy. And it's 16-16 to with the extra point. LSU finds themselves down for the first time in this game. What a change of momentum. Burrow and company looking to get back, getting to respond, throws to the right side, and that is going to be picked off. Oh, my goodness. What a play for Miami. This is an insane turn of events. First and 10, they are going to run the football. Of course, LSU is able to get a stop. They will take a timeout. Running the football on the right side again. Pick up the first down. They can eventually run out the clock, but they are going to keep Running the football, LSU may be trying to let them score so they can get the ball back because this is still a one-possession game, and maybe they're not trying to get the stop. They're trying to get the ball back still, and Miami's going to pass. Touchdown, 23-16. Extra point makes it 24-16. Still a one-score game. What a change in momentum. LSU is going to try to get back on the He's not going to do it. Joe Burrow is sacked. Has to spike the ball. Third and 18, a huge play coming up for LSU. Miami is trying to prevent them from getting back on the scoreboard. And Joe Burrow is looking to the right side, has a guy flag on the play. That is not ideal for Miami, but it's going to be pass interference actually on the offense. That is a horrible penalty to take. They actually still gain yards. Despite that, fourth and six, Burrow looking on the right side. A nice throw to pick up a first down. 19 seconds remaining. Burrow looking downfield, has nobody open, and he's going to get sacked. Will they have enough time to spike the football? They're running back to potentially spike the football to keep the game alive, get one more playoff. Five seconds left, four seconds left, three, two. They get the playoff, and they do get the spike in time. Two seconds left, third and 18. Joe Burrow looking downfield, has nobody open, throws off his back foot, and it falls incomplete. Miami is going to win in one of the more thrilling second halves that you could see in a college football game, and somehow they are able to pull this game off. What a game. Let me know who you guys want to see in the next video for this series.